Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron, and today we are playing God of War Ragnarok. This episode is very exciting because I think we're gonna do some side quests. Usually when I do these let's plays, I like to have at least a couple episodes dedicated to side quests because sometimes they have some really great character moments and world building and all that, and I don't wanna miss that stuff. I wanna be thorough. Of course, I'm gonna try to get some story done, but I'm gonna be a little more exploration focused this episode because the last two episodes have been very, very story driven which is also fun so in the last episode at the beginning kratos was still really pissed because atreus had been lying about a lot of things mostly what he had been doing when he was away from home and apparently atreus has been off searching for Tyr, who used to be the god of war of midgard I think I could be very wrong. I'm still very unsure of who Tyr actually is. I could be getting a lot of things wrong when it comes to him, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to follow the lore as best I can. But basically, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally, and he was also a very huge threat to Odin. And so now that Atreus is looking for Tyr, Odin is getting angry, which is why he sent Thor after him. That also brings up the question, if Tyr was really dead, why is Odin so obsessed with the fact that Atreus is looking for him. And apparently Atreus has a small clue of where to look. He brought us to the old temple where we opened one of those wardrobes that we found. We found a bunch of those in the other game. And they basically just told us a lot of lore of Ragnarok and old stories that happened in Midgard. And apparently the giants hid secret lore <laughs> inside of these wardrobes. And because Atreus is part giant, he's able to access them. I think that's why, I assume. But when you walk inside the actual wardrobe, there you see the secrets that were hidden. I don't know why I put secrets in air quotes, they're secrets. But the one he showed us talked about Skull and Hati and how they have been hidden in Vanaheim. So I'm guessing we have to go to Vanaheim sometime soon, which is also where Freya was originally from, I believe. So I'm wondering at some point if we're going to make amends with Freya. I, I'm really struggling to figure out what they're going to do with her character. My take on it is I feel like she's just so broken and like doesn't know what else to do. Like I don't necessarily feel like she hates Kratos and Atreus. Like maybe she does. <laughs> Maybe a, maybe a lot of her does, but I think deep down she still kind of cares for them because she, she doesn't go after Atreus at all, from what I could tell. She was mostly just focused on Kratos and, you know, shoved Atreus aside if she had to, but her anger is towards Kratos for killing Baldur. Maybe she'll team up with us at some point if, you know, that's what it takes to take down Odin and Thor, but otherwise I don't really see us making amends peacefully. I don't know. It's very interesting to think about. But the other thing is, apparently Sindri had been helping Atreus sneak off and do all this secretive stuff without his dad knowing, which made Kratos very angry, understandably. But Mimir kind of gave him some guidance a little bit and said, Atreus is going to walk his own path. He's just naturally curious about everything and kind of warned him not to push his son away or try to push him too hard down the path that he took growing up. Instead, Try to walk with him and I thought that was really good advice and it's pretty much exactly what Kratos needed to hear I think because he finally accepted that okay we'll search for Tyr together. So Sindri showed up and he let us stay in his house which is in the realm between realms which apparently means that Odin cannot find us here so sort of our safe base which is really cute. I love that whole scene when we reached his house. It was very, very funny. I really enjoy Sindri's dialogue and banter with Kratos because they're just so different. And he's also so different from his brother. So Sindri is like one of my favorite side characters. I just adore him. So besides living in their house, now we can also travel between realms using Mimir's eyeballs. I guess they used another gateway that was opened with Mimir's eyes. Don't don't know exactly how they did it, <laughs> but basically we're going to Svartalfheim, uh, also known as Nidavellir, I think. Probably pronouncing all this wrong, but basically we're traveling to the dwarves realm because they believe that's where Tyr is being held. So we did travel there and it's a much hotter climate, very gaseous, <laughs> but these dwarves want absolutely nothing to do with us, which Fair, I think we're pretty intimidating. <laughs> but now we're trying to find Durlin, who is another dwarf, which I guess he has more information that might lead us to Tyr. So besides that, there's also a big open area that we can explore and do a little bit of side quest stuff. So I'm really excited to do that. I think I'm gonna start with that before I get into the actual story. So let's not waste more time. Let's get into this game and see what happens next.
Okay, we're back, and I changed my camera angle because in the last two episodes, I really hated how I, how small I was on screen. Uh, maybe you guys don't care, but okay, I don't know where I am because Go I don't know where I am. A boat cannot be far. Okay, this is where we left off last I time. I particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can I see will. the smokestacks from here. Bay of Bounty. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. They're giving me options. So, which way do we go? We're doing we some exploring. More before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Hmm. Definitely didn't work out in the dwarves' favor. I always forget that Mimir was like Odin's advisor. Wow, this area is so cool. I miss being in the boat with them. I see an Odin spy up there. Let's let's dock real quick. I kind of miss Atreus's old armor. I know it sounds stupid, but I don't like that. It looks too bulky. Um. This one has better stats to it, I think. It does look cool, though. Maybe I should just leave it on. We'll just leave it on for now. But I like, I like the yellow color on him. Whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I'd recognize that. Before visiting Durlin, very wise. He can be a lot. Yeah, we're taking a little break. I was gonna say, I recognize that At your smashing anywhere. Um, buy an axe. I don't have. Oh, uh, upgradable. Hmm. Well, let's upgrade it. Why not? Furious Maul. A work of staggering genius. It is said this attachment craves battle. Well, so do I. I still can't upgrade them, but I can upgrade my... My thingy. <laughs> Let's do this. Nice. Shield. I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think I should have picked this shield, to be honest, but... Um... I'm just, I'm just not good at parrying, but... Well, we'll upgrade that too. That ought to hurt him. <laughs> okay. Can I sell stuff? I ha I have to have something to sell, right? Sure. I'll take him. Uh, goodbye, Kvasir's poems. Um. By the way, if right. you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. Slag. Well, you look like you have a little shop set up here just fine. <laughs> Are you using those coins, by the way? So that's one mining rig. The other one is there. Let's start here. I don't know what order I'm doing this in. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. Kratos and Atreus say no to air pollution. And water pollution. Wow. There's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? It is, actually. I like how pretty the winter looks, but... It can look kind of... Same after a while. Oh, there you are! You <laughs> never do seem to get rid of those things. He's always watching. Ah, these things. Ew. I don't like them at all. <laughs> Die. Above you. What? Above me? Oh! That, that's what you meant. Oops. I missed. Ah! I missed that too! What the frick? Oh, these guys are purple. Okay. It's alright, we got this. Should I use my rage? Nah. We got this, boys. We got this. 
Nope. <laughs> I missed. Nice. Dude, it's so fun. <laughs> That's so cool. I really like this music. They played it when we met Brock and Sentry again. Probably like the dwarf theme or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ow. Wait. I don't know if that even hit anything. Die. All right. Brother, that find a on high. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my god. <laughs> the rings like they chock a block with materials that could help us. Oh and man. Grab whatever it spits up in the process. Oh, I don't even know what that did. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing I can just use that in battle. Man, this is so much fun. Jeez. Ooh. What are we doing with this? Oh, smart. Very smart. If the dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. Mm. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Mm. Good to know. At least Mimir is taking some responsibility for what he did. I find it really hard to be angry at him for anything though. <laughs> he could like spit in my face and be like, thank you wise Mimir. <laughs> I don't think I read this. Uh, climbing the ladder. Today was a good day, my love. The Aesir Overseer complimented my output. Nearly double that of the second most productive dwarf. I asked him if he might mention my name to the great family in Asgard. Perhaps they might need a personal blacksmith for the warriors of Valhalla. And he said he would. Life is a stairway and every day I haul myself up another step. If I can keep my head down and please the Overseer, I am certain that this time next season we'll be living in a warmer, easier life in the halls of Asgard. That's sad. Shopping list. Don't want to hear any more about my about shortages. Aesir got exactly what we need. My work shouldn't have to suffer just because they get off on being withholding. Anyway, I need a barrel of oil, as many bundles of firewood as can be spared, five ingots of pure fault Spartle, thyme, steel... And oh yeah, goddamn food to goddamn eat. Fair enough, bro. Did I read this? Hold on. I don't think I read this. Uh, Ormer. Or Ormer? <laughs> A mysterious creature. Mimir tells me it was born from an ember that escaped suter suters? I, I remember who that is. I just don't <laughs> say it. Hammer, as he worked his forge, the steward of Muspelheim used his bellows to breathe life into the ember, and its first act of existence was to steal and consume the precious metals the smith had been using to forge a weapon. Mimir tried to tell me Sutur found this amusing. Were I Sutur, I would not be amused. <laughs> we know Kratos. We know. Okay, change the camera angle again. <laughs> Go. There we go. Oh, okay. So that's one. Here's the other one. Now where's the third one at? Hmm. Gotta be around here somewhere. This area is so cool. I just need to find the last thingy, Mabob. Oh. Whee! <laughs> Dang, that was fun. What did that do exactly? Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Okay. Come on. But how do I how do I do that though? Cause I can't like. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Nice. Haha. <laughs> I got a brain up there somewhere. <laughs> Maximum rage increase. Collected enough horns of blood mead. Cool. Not by much, though. That's alright. Alright, so that's one down. Let's go find the other one. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, <laughs> there you have it, lad. Alright, guess that answers that question. Um, also, is it just me who's a little bit skeptical that Odin just offered for Atreus to visit Asgard? Like, if he really wanted him there, wouldn't he have taken him by force? Unless Atreus agreed to go. He said he didn't, but he was lying about other stuff too, and if I was Kratos, I don't know if I'd fully trust him. Especially because... Mimir couldn't hear what he was saying out there, so like... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't trust... I don't trust Odin more than anything. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. I taught you well, son. Defying gravity. I don't think this is another... In region discovered the watchtower. I hear a bird. Where is it? <laughs> ah! No, it's still here. What's that? What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need. I need to set right a very old wrong. Hmm. Well, I want to do that for you, buddy, but I don't know what to look for. I'm hearing it somewhere. Where where is it? Whoa. Oh, jeez. Whoa. The hateful? What the? <laughs> what? Ow. Okay, can't block that. Let's just let's just attack. Oh my god. <laughs> die, die, die. Whoa. What is going on in this town? Yeah, it is. Damn. Jeez. We haven't fought Draugr in a bit. Ow. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm scared. Ooh. Ooh, they sound really cool, don't they? Man, I forgot how to. Ooh, come on! Ooh. Oh god, I don't want this thing behind me. Ah! <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, good. Damn it! Ooh, we, we got this, though. We, we got this. Oh, man. Come on! Jeez! Die, 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 die! <laughs> Not bad! That was fun. I really miss doing stuff like that. Those little battles and stuff. Curse Empress... Empress Handles. Handles once belonging to... I didn't get to read that. 
Leading remnants of chaos flame. Okay. Collect six to restore to its true form. I'll try. <laughs> Dang. That was really fun. Alright, let's see. Can I, can I equip that? Hmm. It's not very good, though. I don't have any he heavy runic attacks yet. Oh, this is what it was for. Um, yeah, not, not great either. Okay, that was really fun. Oh, there you are. Mm. I wish Atreus could just shoot it. Come on, it's on a loop, right? Mm. Damn it, <laughs> this is not gonna be easy. <laughs> I'm gonna be here a while, guys. <laughs> Kratos is just like, oh, 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 die! Bro, oh my god. <laughs> I suck. No, hold on, hold on, we got it, we got it. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? Hold on. I just have to stay still. Figure out where where the path is. Hold on. Okay, okay. It, it'll be right here. Atreus, get out of my way! <laughs> okay, why did I do the heavy throw? Yes! <laughs> Finally! That took me way too long. <laughs> I did not want to give up. Alright. Let's go to the other mining rigs. I love that statue of the dwarf there. That's cool. Okay, got some the nice door. materials. A prisoner of sorts. What? Okay. Can you do anything fancy with these? Find slag? Get it here. <laughs> At least ask first. Jeez. Um. I feel like I should keep. Keep my stuff. What can I make for you? Oh. Oh, I don't like that. It's ugly. <laughs> uh, let's just upgrade what I have on. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, it's not ugly. It's just I like seeing his chest. <laughs> How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Wouldn't Odin retaliate? In some way? Like some worse way? You never know what the guy. Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all <laughs> the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like father could use his memory refreshed. <laughs> My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Not now, I guess. I really miss boat time stories with Mimir. That was always a lot of fun. What's this place? Father, look, we can chisel through this door. Yes, sir. Yay, we don't have to do it ourselves anymore. I hated doing oh, that. <laughs> well, I can see that still works. Oh. Hello. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Nice. <laughs> very nice. It's very bright. <laughs> it's very bright. You know, I'm actually gonna turn down the brightness a little bit, I think. Okay, I don't I don't know if that's gonna do anything. I also turned down motion blur a little bit. I know it's kinda kinda strong. Um hmm. I guess we can't do anything else up there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he zoomed into that boat real fast. We're getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Aw, seconded. Oh, sweet. He's a lot more open with his compliments. 
It's so cool seeing the character progression. Like it took him all the entire Back game. Thor Odin stories. Oh. Where were we? Okay. Not bad. There was Thamor, the stonemason. Aye. Oh yeah. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thamor's son, Grimther, who built the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Ah, but enough of that for now. Hmm. We only get little snippets of story time. I was gonna say, it took him all game to be able to put his arm around his son and like display a affection. But we saw at the beginning, it was immediate, just like kind of a casual thing. It's like, it's just shows so much development. And another thing I want to point out, I know I'm talking way too much, but so far this game has been kind of like, not exactly like the other one, but as in terms of like story beats, very similar. And it kind of took me until I edited the first episode to realize this, but it's been very similar. We start off with a death. First one, death of the mothers. This one, death of Fenrir. And afterwards, in the first one, we went off to hunt. And in this one, Kratos suggested we hunt. Didn't end up doing it, but we went out anyway to find Atreus. So essentially, we were kind of hunting in our own way. First one, we found the troll and fought him. This one, we found Bjorn and fought him, aka Atreus. When we got back to the house, a stranger showed up. First one, Balder. This one, Thor and Odin. And they seemed not unintimidating, but you know, disinterested at first, and then they end up being insanely powerful. And both fights ended prematurely, essentially. Balder didn't die in, in that fight, and Thor chose to end this one. So it's very, very similar. I guess I just wanted to point that out because I don't know if it was an intentional thing, but I just thought it was kind of funny how similar um, the openings for each game have been. But enough of that. I don't even know where the frick I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Here's what I think of all your barrels. Oh wow. Whoa, what is this? Hello? Yeah, Guessing we can't do anything? I don't anything? think we can do anything with that yet. Alright. Don't have any ideas there, Vamir? Floating runes or something? Okay then. Well, I'm sure we'll come back here. I kind of assumed we could explore at a later time too, but... Let's get on with the rigs. This one? Oh, I see a chest up there. Come on now. Oh, what? Yeah. That guy's was huge. Yes, it should lead us to the key for that watchtower door. Oh. All right. <laughs> Those mining rigs sure spit out a lot of smoke. Yeah. Feel bad for the dwarves here. Oh. Doc. <laughs> nice. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. Weight of chains. Guess we'll figure it out, but... <laughs> Let me back up real quick. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> oh, yeah, I hate these things. What? Can I just have my son take care of these? Hello? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> nice. Oh shit. Ah! Oh my god, what was that about? Jeez. Gross. <laughs> it's so funny how fast you can shoot it. Oh, oops. Die! I'm trapped. Oh god. 
Oh, okay. Let's just destroy this then, please. There. Oh. Yeah, but where are the rest? I still hear them. I don't know. Mission accomplished. Uh, I think I hear something else. I want more battles. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> it's fun. We're near that huge geyser. <laughs> Dang. Their animations look really good. I feel like something's gonna fight me. Ah. I don't wanna fight these. Let me just... Die. 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 <laughs> oh. Nice. The ground right. looks weak down here, father. You're right about that. I need something to run off. That doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. That um, gear. Looks like it would freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. Yeah, but I don't know how to get inside. Um... How? Oh, I see. Nice. Here we go. Well, I, I kind of want the stuff that's in there, but let's, let's do this first. You think you could break through the ground from up there? Ready? Ah. Oh shit. Uh. Ah, that that's not good. Ooh. Watch your right. Please don't charge me. Target down. Is there a nest in here? Ow. Ooh. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh. Dang. This is so bad. Oh. Man. Come on. Oh, ow. ow. Yeah. Ooh. Please don't. <laughs> ah, thank you, brother. Dang, these things are everywhere. Alright, I need to get my health back. Die. <laughs> Whoa, whoops, not these things. Get this thing. Get him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Come here. Is this it? Over here? Whew. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the the brightness again. It just seems way too bright, doesn't it? I don't know. Now we must head to that watchtower on the floor. Nice. Cool beans. What are you not saying? The mining rigs are not the only sin I committed in Spartalfheim. Kept someone prisoner, he said? Okay, I want I wanted to do this because there's something in the elevator. So, let's go grab it. Hmm. 
There we go. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if that was worth it, but... Oh well. Now where is that thing he was talking about? So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. <laughs> Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Yeah. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? <laughs> there was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and like the torrent of his blood, nearly drown every giant alive. <laughs> what about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir god's dream. What about Fjorgen? <laughs> Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. <laughs> there was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Damn. Ah, Grung near the brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Well, it's, it's good for me too, because I need this knowledge. <laughs> I, uh, I need a refresher course. You just stay quiet, Kratos. <laughs> um... Not sure what's here. I, I know we should be getting to everywhere else, but it's okay. Uh, crap, I need to find where they are first. Hmm. Oh, damn it. I hate when they do that. You know what? Let's come back here later. There's obviously some areas we here. can't get to what yet. I think it means seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted. And unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. I forgot that he liked her. And I forgot that she, uh, didn't actually, she didn't actually die, right? Because I just released her spirit or something? I, I don't There's remember. There's the watchtower I spoke of. We need to get through the door on the ground floor. Yep. Forgot where it was for a second. Let's do this and then get to the other mining rigs. So who's this prisoner he keeps talking about? Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Oh, not this again. Just put the key into that lock, brother. God, Atreus could hear voices and stuff. Hello? There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. Hmm. Uh, okay. Oh. Whoa. I was thinking, like, with my axe or something. <laughs> what? So that's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll what? need to free it from its restraints. What? Wait, what? Huh? Is that a... Oh, it's like a... A whale or something? Oh, poor thing. That just made me really sad. Okay, we need to go. I was not expecting that. 
Jeez. Damn. I miss the world serpent. I want to see it again. I don't know what happened to it after the battle. What is this? A Lundbokka. I captured it many years ago. Well, oh, it's I. Yes. I fought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked. That it did. Damn. He's just been sitting here ever since. Wow. They built stuff on top of it? Jeez, that's insane. So what do we do with it? I hear you. <laughs> Hi. Uh, friendly. Is it, is it friendly? <laughs> Probably not towards Mimir. How do we get on top of this thing? Ooh, okay. This will be crazy because it's gonna be like shifting around as we walk on it. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> Damn. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. I guess he did get the same treatment. Without even realizing it, he was going to be subjected to the same fate. <laughs> Can't say it's not fair, <laughs> but like, I don't know. Nice. All right. I don't know how I feel. It's hard for me to be angry at Mimir, but that's definitely wrong of him to do that, to say the least. <laughs> nice. Cool. All right. Yeah, it's it's so sad. This poor poor creature. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Whoa. You right. chained the fins too. If you could. Oh. Easy. Easy. It still has chains on it though. This is making me so sad. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. Hmm. Now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. This, this hits Kratos especially hard because it's... He can relate to how this creature feels, you know? Very sad. There's a lot of different layers going on here. Um... I get to the other side though. Oh. Above your brother. You're angry with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Yeah. I'm angry with you too, Mimi. <laughs> and I love you to death. But his hands aren't clean of everything. 
I still don't think he deserved to be locked up like that for that, all that time. But. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Regarding the removal of resources. One, when making your initial strike, use an axe, not a pick. You use a pick, you go too deep, you get red flow. You get red flow, somebody has to clean it up. Two, pre-dawn remains the best time to harvest. Grogginess and disorientation are still a major factor before the sun comes up, so the chances of accidents become much becomes much lower. Three, always wear earplugs. <laughs> That's funny. Can we go up here? Oh wow. Damn, that's cool. Uh, oh yeah, I guess he can do that now. That's pretty crazy. More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Gvasia. Hmm. Uh, we who remain, part the second. A dramatic poem by Kvasir. He of undisputed brilliance. What is it to live? What is it to die? Is the only difference in the beholder's eye? When disease rots your body, when hate sours your brain, what separates the mad and the sane? For the bearded, cruel father and his surrogate daughter shall never know respite from a life full of slaughter. The evil will die along with the good, and the difference between them grows less understood. Bars. <laughs> I like his little poems. Nice. Uh, I'm hearing a bird somewhere. Where is it though? I think it's down there. I'll get it at some point. Ooh. Whoa! Okay, I am through the ground right now. Yes, I don't think this is supposed to be happening. Oh my god, do you see the green block there? <laughs> Uh-oh. It would seem I have broken the game. Help. Someone help. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Good thing it fits fix itself. Jesus. That was interesting. <laughs> ah. Hi. Damn. <laughs> nice. Die. I feel like Kratos. <laughs> I rage. Its fat was a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil. For lanterns. Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. I believe him on that. Everything Kratos is hearing is just making him angry and angrier, though. Hiding some sort of oh. device. Fire bombs explode on impact. What? Whoa. Damn. Massive damage to enemies. Oh. What about this? Nice. Besides, Mimir had all that time locked up to think about what he did. It was like an eternal prison sentence. There's a dock down there. Ooh. It looks like it's blocked. 
Maybe we can reach it with the thingy. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> Kratos is about to make Mimir eat this thing. <laughs> Maybe that dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get <sighs> back to the boat. Can we open this? Never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. Kratos has made mistakes too. A lot. <laughs> so, you know. Wish we could get those chains off. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could You expected it. them to? No. Not when we can save it. How is it going to be able to move with all this stuff on top of it? And with the chains on Good. it? Good. We can reach the tail from this dog. <laughs> you would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. Oh god. Man, the sound in this game is really good. Really, really good. I don't know, just all those different sound effects makes a huge difference. Damn! <laughs> I missed. <laughs> Is that thing dead? No, it's not. <laughs> Die! <laughs> oh my god. So satisfying. Dude. Jeez. On your right. Whoa! Chill the frick out! Watch your leg! Oh, bye! Whew. Good teamwork. Team? <laughs> Wait, you may need. Oh, what is that? Bee scraps. Cool. There we go. The tail must be chained as well. Jeez, this thing is massive. Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. This is horrible. There, you're free. Is it gonna be able to move? What's going on? It needs a little encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, -face, brother? I don't think it's gonna move anywhere. 
<laughs> I don't know. Part of me feels like it's too little too late. The spring slap. <laughs> Rond of aggravation? Rond? I don't know how to say that. Here we go. Where's my bow? Oh, okay. This creature, the mining room. Their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. He's trying to get in good favor with Odin. I don't see it as an excuse either, though. Blubbering beast. Shoot! It's not moving. <laughs> Maybe you should let Atreus talk move? to it. It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can face this. We just need to chase it off. Scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. Likes the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Not everything can have a happy ending. Making amends. Man, that was a really good side quest. Lingbank? Lingbanker? I don't know how to say that for how he said it. It appears that Amir has enacted many cruelties here in Svartalfheim. None more reprehensible than chaining this creature and harvesting it for its fat for oil. To perform an act so heartless, to put it out of one's mind, to never speak of it. It reminds me of a boat captain I wronged long ago. He too was robbed of his freedom and suffered because of who I was and the choices I made. Perhaps there is a measure of monster inside us all. I remember there being something about a boat captain in the last episode. <laughs> last episode. Last game. But I don't remember exactly what it was. Maybe it wasn't in the last game at all. Maybe it was in the other games. But I'm, I'm not sure. But did I read this? <laughs> What was his name again? Rabe? The dwarven proctor of the tavern in Nidavellir. He was forthcoming with Durland's location and also with a bitter anger towards Mimir. His establishment is too small and unwelcoming. I hope he is a better musician than he is a barkeep. That's funny. Oh man. Why do I feel like that's Mimir. foreshadowing of the What's game? What's the deal with Odin's Rusty ravens? Day. They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms. Thankfully. Why? <laughs> Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. Yeah. All right, let's try to take care of the rest of the uh, mining rigs. I'm really happy we did that side quest. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? They were That's scared. That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Dang, Mimir. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift then. Gantry. Gantry. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so it stays. Alright, cool. Yeah, this whole area is so elaborate and cool. Up there. 
Can we break this? Huh, oh, cool. Not quite right. Hmm. It's got to be the right spot. There we go. Yoink. <laughs> Thought it was an explosive. <laughs> I smell fuel. Oh, okay. That a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. I was right. Oops. Cool. I don't use my chains that much, do I? I need to start doing that more. Like switching between them. For some reason, I find the axe more fun, but. Not all the time. Nice. Uh, what else? Oh. Epic. Hey, father, up there. Oh, yeah. Good eye, my boy. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. <laughs> the Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the, the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. You made a lot of mistakes in this realm. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Ah, I can't see anything, it's so bright. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, I'm always so sad when the battles are over so fast. Like, wait, I'm not done. What the frick is that? Aww. That's <laughs> so cute! Little, little turtle thing. What's this say? Huh. Impressive. The squasher. Coughlin? Is that how you pronounce that letter? I don't know. A squasher of wretches. I killed a nest of 20 here. A legend or a boast, I wonder. I wish this... Coughlin? <laughs> was around to enlighten us with her strategies. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Is it just me or is it so damn bright? Like in some parts. I tried turning down my brightness, but... It do not matter. <laughs> what are you fighting? Oh, there you are. Where do I go? We should probably lower it so I can get over there. Excuse me. Yoink. Alright, cool. Forged iron. Dude, I'm gonna be decked out by the end of this, <laughs> this mission. <laughs> Thank god I didn't just go straight to... Darlin. Let's move that up. Now let's go over here. There's gonna be a lot of jump cuts, cuz I'm uh I'm really focused. What does this do? Oh. That should help. Oh Okay. I'm dumb. That took me a long time to find. Jeez. I felt like such a dork. I shouldn't have moved that in the first place. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I I got it now. Yeah, that looks right. There. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I have been running around like a doofus. It wasn't so hard. 
Oh yeah, you didn't do anything, Treyas. <laughs> of course it wasn't hard for you. Oh my god, <laughs> he just like shot up straight. Jeez. Whoops. Dang! Where are you? Dang! Oh! Oh, that's a big boy! Jeez. We did it, boys. I like how the flame's just like totally in his face right now. Oh, you okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. This whole thing is sad, man. Oh. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's two down. Let's get to the last one. The dwarf survived because of you. Ah, oh, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use his skills, no one could. So I guess that's a good thing, then. But what he gave them as an alternative wasn't much better. <laughs> uh. What is it, Mimir? It's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could go back? Rewrite your own past, make different decisions. Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, uh, fair <laughs> point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? <laughs> I don't no. think he is, yeah. Of course you're not. <laughs> See, that's knowledge I don't necessarily have of the other games. I'm not exactly sure what he's referring to. It's been a while since I, uh, like, researched the lore of the other games. Think that crane still works? Whoa. Guess we'll find out. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. I don't think there's really a good solution, to be honest. Unless Odin was dead. <laughs> Excuse me, son. The doors weren't chained up like the Loombacher. Couldn't they quit? Loombacher. Do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. Oh. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Yeah. Seriously. But it's a very smart move on Odin's part. What am I hearing right now? <laughs> there is some sort of creature going on. It's like a dog. Hello? Just die. I hate these things. I'd rather fight something big. Whoa. An Igdrasil seed to Muspelheim. Yeah. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? Oh. What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, <laughs> it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. 
Well, you totally did. Anyway, <laughs> we should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. <laughs> All right. So we have to find the other pieces in order to travel to Moosebelheim. Again. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I need that over here. Let's come back. <laughs> Yoink. Oh. Ah, son of a bitch. This thing again. Whatever. Just stay down there. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Morning. If you can read this, return to work. <laughs> Damn. You had to write all that out in order to say that. <sighs> can we reach that thing from here? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> nice. I like how the thing was just chilling. <laughs> just totally murdered it. Okay. Unless. Great. Now we can make it across. Oh. Right. Here we go. Man. Man. I hate these things. I'll get that later. <laughs> Dang, that's impressive, man. He's glitching right through it. <laughs> He's so good at it, he just glides up. Get him. Boom. Die. <laughs> they just keep coming. It's a bear trap. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. It will be so. There we go. Oh, dang. Whoa. Ah! Run! <laughs> ah! Shit. Should probably use my axe. Oh! Dang! <laughs> Die! <laughs> Jeez! I think we got him. Bergstra... Mother? It should come with no surprise that we despise wretches, but we despise even more than the little buggers is the things that spawns them. If wretches are born the way they smell, one can only imagine how much worse a Bergsra mother is in the olfactory sense. Worst of all, killing them has been known to set off an eruption of wretches rather than stave it off. Most unpleasant creatures, a lot of them. The act of spawning their little wretches is not easily interrupted, but a runic attack should get it done. Huh. Interesting. Last one! If you could call so meager a task done, a wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational <laughs> bucket. You yeah. must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No, but it is a start. A reminder, brother. 
That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. I'm thinking the same thing. This week he called him brother. I don't think he's ever called him your brother before. The whole, like, uh, creature imprisonment thing. That's a different story, but with the, the dwarves and the mining, I can understand. It's, it's definitely not his fault because he was kind of doomed. Like, damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, so. And he's still trying to make things right. It's obvious how much guilt he feels. No, I'm trying to grab this. I'm trying to... Bitch! Oh my god. Grab it. Thank you. Goodness gracious. The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rig. Yeah. Nice. Forged iron. Let's go back to Sindri. If we can find him. Oh, Sindri! Amir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's raven. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's raven is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Really? Interesting. I'm keeping that in mind for later. You going to Durland's? Hope he'll be happy oh, to fix that those rigs. I don't, I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to find Sindri. I don't know where he is. This is where we started, so I think Sindri's over here. And see he here. Okay, yeah, I hear I hear him banging away on stuff. All right. We have a whole bunch of stuff for you. Whatever you need. Okay, I guess I can't upgrade that. <laughs> Upgrade that. Let's upgrade. Okay, guess I can't. Um. I'll heat up the forge. I can't really even do anything. I guess I did kind of just. Uh, it fits. It does fit. Very nice. Let's sell some more poems. <laughs> Take care of your armor, cool. and it'll take care of you. Oh, was this here before and I missed it? <clears throat> Don't mind if I do. Appreciate it. <laughs> cool. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna visit Durlin. Um, just to say hi. <laughs> and then uh, we'll end the episode there. I don't think I'll get into whatever he wants me to do right now. I think this is it right here, right? Brother, do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? <laughs> no. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry <laughs> on then. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Whoa, look at that. Is that like a train track? Oh, that's cool. I want to ride a train. Wow. This is so cool. Hold on, I want, I want what's in that chest first. Gimme, 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 gimme. Nice. Wasn't there one of those things that had like a person in it that like jumped out. I can't really remember. Okay, let's let's say hi to let's say hi to Durlin. Let's see what he's all about. I think it's, it's this, right? This is the safety office. Well, the sign oh. that hails right the way from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. <laughs> huh? Hello. Ah, oh, the lighting is really nice. <laughs> We're looking for Durlin? You have an appointment?
<laughs> you said you no? want to talk. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? Hi. <laughs> Who'd you collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Esther's accretion proposal, eh? What? <laughs> we are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? The axe? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. <laughs> Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? <laughs> yeah, come, come. Failed. Is dead. Best of them are. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. No, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. <laughs> Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport <laughs> of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for the all fathers give a name and uh, uh yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine. <laughs> this guy. Okay. Okay. Get out of my office. Dude. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? We are going you said nowhere. Her name is Diener? Huh. Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. What's that? What if we just stand there and stare at you and intimidate you? I like your pet octopus. Maybe? That head better not be leaking his decay all over my floor. I beg your pardon? Oh, <laughs> and it talks too. Dino, would you get a load of this? It looks a little familiar too. I've, uh, just got one of those faces. <laughs> Seems to me that's the only thing you've got. We should go. True. <laughs> He's not wrong. I don't want to, I don't want to leave. Uh, because you didn't tell us what we came here for. And you gave us a fine. Dude. I can't pull out my axe. <laughs> what is with this guy? If you knew my wife, then you better be helping me, dude. Fine. Whatever. Screw you. <laughs> hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. It's not a fine? Hold on, let's kill all the enemies then. Oh cool. Oops. Ow. Oops. 
Oh man, get back here! <laughs> So cool. Oh my god. Whoa, I can't see anything. Ugh. I think that's it, right? Okay. As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Mm -hmm. Uh, you smelled him? But it <laughs> seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, Tyr. Erlen helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. True. So he did help us out. All right. So I'm going to leave this episode off here. We did a lot of uh, side quest stuff. I'm going to have to edit it down a lot because I was kind of silent through some of it because I didn't know what I was doing. So, I'm really, really happy I did all that side stuff, though. There's still a lot more in that area that I missed. Um, but I assume we'll get to go back at a later point, because there's some stuff I wasn't able to access um, that I'm sure I will once I get further into the game. But it was really interesting hearing more of uh, what Mimir has done in the past. And it's very clear that he is very, very ashamed of everything that he's done. And... I mean, it's obvious that he doesn't want to talk about it, but it, he has no choice. Like, he has to face the consequences of his actions. And I think it was uh, represented very well with, um, I forgot the name of that creature, but the big creature in the lake. The fact that it didn't just get up and swim away like he wanted it to. You know, that damage had already been done and you can't take it back. It kind of goes for a lot of different things in this game I think and maybe it's foreshadowing stuff I don't know yet but I just think it was a great representation of everything um all the harm that Odin has caused and the difference between Odin and Mimir is that Mimir feels so much shame and regret for everything he did and he did in my opinion kind of pay the price for for what he's done um he suffered the same fate and he knows what it's like to be chained up and so does kratos and so it was a very personal side quest i feel like for these two so i, I really really liked it it kind of shows too that kratos is more getting more forgiving i think because he was even though he was so pissed he kind of understood it from Mimir's perspective uh with how remorseful he felt and it was sweet that he called him brother <laughs> i don't think he's called him that yet but uh yeah i'm really happy i did these side quests and i'm definitely going to be doing more of them whenever they pop up maybe not all of them depends on how many there are but the thing i like about these side quests is that they're not simple fetch quests they they really add a lot to the characters i think it suits the game perfectly i um, glad we met durlin he's a very eccentric character but he seems to want to help us under the table, you know. I think the fact that we knew Faye was kind of, it kind of sealed the deal. I don't think he really would have helped us had that not been the case. But yeah, she really helped out so many people and it's clear how much of an impact she left on, on everyone. They all remember her very fondly. But yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying this so far. If you did, leave a like or subscribe if you're new because I'd love to have you stick around and watch the play studio games and hang out with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.